Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets. My name is not Sean again, it's Sean with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got a matchup for you, remember what we do here? We're just trying to show you the proportions between this big ass tire and this big ass wheel. So this is gonna be a 22 by 11 wide, so 11 wide, negative 24 offset, this is a Havoc H103. And the matchup it's going with is the Nitto Trail Grappler MT, and it's a 37, but it's a 13 and a half. So they went with a little bit, the inch wider. Typical is uh, 12 and a half. A lot of times when you get up above the 35s and the 37s, 38s, the 40s, they start to go to 13 and a half, which starts to give you more and more protection. So what that means is because this is 11 wide, if you look at the sidewall, you're gonna have a lot more bump stop before you take the curb into the wheel or the rock or the stick or the log, or the house, it depends on how bad of a driver you are, that's gonna protect that sidewall before you start getting into the wheel, and that's why a lot of guys like the 13 and a half, and that's where an 11 wide makes sense, because the 12 wide is gonna start to straighten out that um, sidewall a little bit more. The other thing is with a 37 on this 22, you don't get that low profile look. So you're looking at about seven inches of sidewall to the top of the lug nut, and five and a half inches to the tread to sidewall seam here, you've got five and a half inches of sidewall. If you were to do the 35s, you start to get a much more low profile look. And in 33s, of course, you're running a full low profile mud tire. And I think that's why a lot of guys are doing the 37, 13 and a half when they bump up to a 22. I'm just gonna turn this, give you a side profile look of it so that you can see how massive that 13 and a half wide is. And then another thing that I should just point out for you guys, just because it's 13 and a half wide, doesn't mean that that's the tread width. If I look at this one, the actual tread width from here to here is about 12 and a half inches. And that's very typical. Actually, Nitto tends to run a little wider. So um, some of your other tires, when you actually measure that section right there, will actually be smaller than that. So that's why an 11 still doesn't look, you know, like it's got this huge bubble for a 13 and a half because that 11 wide wheel is actually 12 wide out to the edge of the bead. And then your tire tread is only the 12 and a half. So they almost line up with each other. And then your sidewall is just your sidewalls. Peace.